Now we are going to learn one of the trickiest verbs in Spanish, but also one of the most useful verbs. That's a small little verb called ir. I -r, ir. Ir is the verb to go. We talk about that all the time. I go here, I go there. The conjugations are very different. They don't look anything like the verb itself. To say I go in Spanish, yo boy. Remember the V sounds like a B. Yo boy a Toronto. I go to Toronto. Most of the time when we're using the verb to go, we add the preposition a afterwards, which is the word to. Right? We don't say I go Toronto. I go to Toronto. Yo boy a Toronto. For you, to bus. A la fiesta. You go to the party. A la fiesta. Fiesta being feminine. La. To the. El, ella, and usted. He, she, and you. Formal. Va. El va. A la clase. He goes to the class. Ella va a la clase. Usted va a la clase. Nosotros, we, the verb is vamos. We go. Vamos. Nosotros vamos. Al banco. Wait a minute. What's this word al? Well, banco is masculine. Right? Fiesta and clase are feminine. So we would say to the party, a la fiesta, to the class, a la clase, to the bank, a el banco. But in Spanish, they don't want you to say a el, to the, el being the word the, the masculine word for the. So they write a little contraction. Instead of saying to the bank, a el banco, they write the word al banco. And al is the contraction which is used in Spanish when you have a plus el. To the, when it's a masculine word like banco, al banco. Another example here, ellos, ellas, ustedes, they masculine, they feminine, and you plural, van. Ustedes van al parque. You go to the park. Or they go to the park. Again, parque being masculine, we don't say a el parque. We use that contraction and we say al. Ellos van al parque. They go to the park. So now you know the forms of the verb to go. The verb ir. Usually followed by the preposition a or to. That's in the present. Ir en el presente, to go. But if we're talking about a two-verb sentence, with the verb ir, the whole context changes from the present to the future. El futuro. So now, when we're talking about ir in the future, we're talking about going to. So let's erase what we had here. And now we're going to write some verbs to change these sentences into the future. Yo voy a leer. I'm going to read. Now with the second verb, the implication is this is in the future. I'm going to read. Yo voy a leer. We continue using this word a after the verb ir. Most of the time, 99% of the time, you will see a uh, following any form of the verb to go. Tu vas a estudiar. You're going to study. Tu vas a estudiar. What's he going to do? El va a trabajar. O ella va a trabajar. O usted va a trabajar. You are going to work. Future. 
Nosotros vamos a, what are we going to do? Hablar español. Nosotros vamos a hablar español. We are going to speak Spanish. Ellos, ellas, en ustedes van a dormir. They are going to sleep. Or you are going to sleep. Or they feminine. Ellas van a dormir. They're going to sleep. You can use any verb at all. But the second verb doesn't get any changes. It stays in its infinitive form. When we use the verb to go in the present and add another verb afterwards, the whole context is in the future. So you could talk about what you're going to do later in the day or tomorrow. You could say, mañana yo voy a leer, yo voy a trabajar, yo voy a dormir. Right? I'm going to read, I'm going to work, I'm going to sleep. And you can now very easily talk about the future. When you use the second verb and the verb ir, the verb to go.